Hey everyone, uh, man, I can't believe I'm actually making this video. Uh, first off, reminder, we are giving away a $99 Nintendo Switch eShop gift card. Just want to shout that out quick. Link down in the description or the pinned comment to enter that. Beyond that, uh, I want to thank you for checking out this video. Uh, uh, it is releasing on the 35th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda, the official 35th anniversary, February 21st. Not when Nintendo chooses to celebrate it, not necessarily when it was the 35th anniversary for, say, the Western release, but it came out, the NES Legend of Zelda game came out today, 35 years ago, and I actually turned 35 later this year. I'm almost as old as the Zelda series, if you can believe that. I got my sick Majora's Mask shirt on here because we're going to be talking a little bit about Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time and potentially some other stuff here because there is a very likely chance that we're going to get three brand new HD Zelda games coming this year, potentially beyond Skyward Sword HD. Skyward Sword HD could be part of the plan, but it, it it's actually possible there's more than that going on. Now, I'm not just talking about the Wind Waker HD and, uh, you know, Twilight Princess HD, two obvious ports that could be coming over to Switch. I'm talking about new HD Zelda games. Now, full disclosure here, uh, I got to give some credit to my man, Game Over Jesse. Go check out his channel if you want. He does excellent Zelda content. Uh, and hey, he'll be guesting on our podcast later this week. You're going to want to turn in for this our special 35th anniversary edition of the Nintendo Prime Podcast as we talk about uh, Zelda, 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 and more Zelda. But here's the deal. We know a, a few things that we've previously reported on. One, we have an idea of what the 35th anniversary plans potentially are for The Legend of Zelda. I said that in a prior video. You can click up here to go check that out. Uh, and there's a bunch of stuff in there from custom Zelda consoles and, and, and more games coming out and all that jazz. Uh, but not really any idea of what's happening beyond, hey, check out Grezzo. The source for that said, look at Grezzo, 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 Grezzo. But they won't tell us exactly what Grezzo was working on. We also know that Grezzo has recently been hiring for someone to do a medieval adventure game. To work on a medieval adventure game. Which is the exact terminology Nintendo has used at Monolith Soft. At their own uh, you know, development headquarters. And also with Grezzo in the past when hiring people to work on Zelda games. So we know factually that right now Grezzo is likely hiring someone to work on a brand new game. Zelda game. Grezzo's history with Zelda is pretty deep. Ocarina of Time 3D, Four Swords Anniversary Edition, Triforce Heroes, Majora's Mask 3D, and yes, Link's Awakening remake that happened back in 2019. Now, if you look at Grezzo, they actually have quite a long history over the last 14 years. They started off as a very tiny company, but ever since Ocarina of Time 3D, they've really taken off. And they seemingly always have three, sometimes four games in the works at the same time. And one of those games, bare minimum, is always Zelda. Something Zelda. And they have nothing announced for the last two years. Now, they have done one other Nintendo property, uh, that being Luigi's Mansion. They were the ones that ported the GameCube Luigi's Mansion to 3DS. So they have done something besides Zelda, and they have released other games. Ever Oasis is the one other major game people know about, but they actually have a, a number of them. Uh, in fact, if we want to look at this, uh, back in 2011, we got... Um, you know, that's when we got Ocarina of Time 3D and Four Swords Anniversary Edition, two Zelda games released in the same year from Grezzo in 2015. They released Majora's Mask 3D and Triforce Heroes in the same year. Uh, and actually, uh, in 2017, they released two games at the same time with The Alliance Alive and Ever Oasis. And then they actually helped out with that Luigi's Mansion port I mentioned. And then they went on to, to, to dump Ark of Alchemist, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, and The Alliance Alive HD Remastered back in 2019, those last three games. So three games released in 2019, but we know nothing else. Every game they have worked on that was not Luigi's Mansion and not Zelda, they have announced a year or more in advance so that we knew about what they were working on way ahead of time. It has now been two years since the release of their last game. Why do we not know anything Grezzo's working on? Now, you could argue pandemic, pandemic, 
pandemic, clearly pandemic. That's why we don't know what the hell's going on. But if they're not working on a Nintendo IP, they typically have free reign to tell you what the hell is going on. And they're hiring specifically right now for someone to work on what seemingly is a Zelda game. Now, what I have done in breaking down some developers I've talked to is companies like Grezzo tend to hire these people towards the beginning of development. That means the person that they are hiring for this position to work on a medieval Zelda game is very likely starting work on a new one, which suggests that whatever Grezzo has been working on the last two years, one or multiple of those projects are done. Now, this is where we get into what the hell could Grezzo have actually finished off in that time? What could we look to Grezzo to actually do to bring Zelda games for the 35th anniversary? Because technically, Ocarina of Time 3D and, uh, what was it, Four Swords Anniversary Edition, those both were done for the 25th anniversary, the same year Skyward Sword came out. All right. They also then went ahead and right before, you know, right before the 30th anniversary dropped two more Zelda games. We are now at the 35th anniversary. What the hell do you think Grezzo's going to be doing? They're going to be massively participating in the 35th anniversary of Zelda. So we know they've already created Ocarina of Time 3D, right? Majora's Mask 3D, Triforce Heroes, and Link's Awakening. We're obviously, they're not going to do anything with Link's Awakening that just came out back in 2019. So what are we going to get from them? Well, how about this? Ocarina of Time HD and Majora's Mask HD. Why? Because they are deeply familiar with both games since they worked on them directly, and it's very highly likely when they worked on those games, the assets they created for those games were originally created in HD before being down Why? When development is going on, artists aren't going in to their art programs and drawing character models at 480p. That's not factually what happens. They create the assets in HD and then use computers to downsample them to the correct resolution for the given platform to have smaller image files. All right. So they technically likely have HD assets already. And you want to know what? I was originally against the idea of just HD, like something like Ocarina of Time 3D. And then I saw this. What you are seeing here is somebody who has taken Ocarina of Time 3D from the 3DS through emulators naturally and presented it to you in an HD format. I got to admit, it actually looks pretty good. Now, it's not the full on HD remake, Unreal Engine 4, Unreal Engine 5, you know, that we've seen out there with all the other fans that have been working on things like Cry's NX, working on things like a, like a Unreal Engine 4 version of Ocarina of Time. No, it's nothing crazy like that, but it's a realistic thing. And when you think about the fact they just announced Skyward Sword HD, them HD, Ocarina of Time 3D and Majora's Mask 3D, seems extremely plausible. In fact, almost likely, as if we should actually expect them to do it. So with them hiring for what seemingly is a new Zelda game, when they were likely already working on one, because if you look at their release slate, it definitely appears they're always working on a Zelda game. So when they were done with Link's Awakening, they clearly were working on another Zelda game from then until now. And then they're hiring again for seemingly what seems like another one. But why? What is happening? What could they be working on? Well, obviously Ocarina of Time HD and Majora's Mask HD are likely coming. They're likely coming this year. So what about this new game they're working on? And can that release this year? Well, I don't think what they're working on is necessarily going to release this year. It could release for the 35th anniversary of Zelda because like Mario ran into the following year through March 31st, I think Nintendo is going to take the 35th anniversary of Zelda and run it through March 31st of next year. Whatever Grezzo's working on now, if it is an HD remake, could potentially come before the end of that, leading to three major HD remake games coming out from Grezzo. Now, again, Skyward Sword HD is coming, so we already know about one. Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask are, at this point, I would say, likely coming as well from Grezzo. So... What can we talk about now? Well, they could obviously be HDing the ever-controversial 
Triforce Heroes. Uh, it wasn't really their idea for a game. It was someone at Nintendo, and then, then they were the development team for it. But I wonder... I wonder if after Link's Awakening, and after they finished HD in these games, if Nintendo is letting them tackle something else. I don't know. Maybe A Link Between Worlds HD. Maybe bringing A Link to the Past into full realization for the 35th anniversary. Or, let's get even crazier. What if they're taking the original Legend of Zelda on the NES and remaking that? Think about how crazy that would be. And it's such a small game relative to other Zelda games, it could be done quite quickly. Now, I don't know for sure that Grezzo is doing any of this. Grezzo has nothing publicly announced. The only thing I'm pretty sure about is that hiring for a medieval adventure game is definitely, in my opinion, that's about Zelda. So I'm pretty positive about that. But if you look at the release slate history, you consider the games they've already made. You consider that they actually have work at HD, HD games already for other companies. And you consider that Nintendo and Grezzo are like this. Like they are super, super tight. And then the prior rumor about the 35th anniversary and looking towards Grezzo for some major Zelda announcements. Now, we could talk about a whole bunch of other speculative things with Zelda, right? There's the fact that there's a very high chance a mobile game is in the works for Zelda. Uh, there's been some reports on that actually from Nintendo themselves that have really hinted at it through some hiring posts. There's also uh, other things floating out in the wind about uh, various other Zelda possibility games, Tantalus who I think is the company that's likely working on Skyward Sword HD because the way that game was HD'd is kind of similar to the way it was done with Twilight Princess HD. So Tantalus might be the group working on that. But regardless, we're getting a bunch of HD Zelda games in the next 12 months. Hopefully Breath of the Wild 2 is among that batch, although that's just a new Zelda game at this point. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below, this theory, this conversation, this discussion, uh, because I'm super, super stoked. Uh, I am labeling this not necessarily as Nintendo news, like I label other things. I'm actually going to put this in my Nintendo discussion playlist, since technically it's a lot of speculation based on patterns and history and some research put out there by game over jesse who created a really in-depth video on this again be sure to tune in on thursday because that is when we have our special podcast with game over jesse going live where we will be talking about all of this stuff in depth his sources the where this information is coming from and just putting all the crazy theories out there about what is coming for Zelda's 35th anniversary, unless somehow Nintendo surprises us and we already know. Then we'll be talking about that. All right, folks, I am Nintendo RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. It is Zelda's 35th anniversary. Let me give you a better look at this shirt. Isn't this shirt sick? Look at that. Look at that shirt. And you know what? It kind of flies with this shirt I'm wearing. It's a, it's almost as if I I, I love Zelda or something. All my, all my Breath of the Wild copies. I mean, come on, look at this. I got I got a couple of these bonus Explorer's Guide copies right here. I got the Master's Edition back over there somewhere. I've got uh, the, the Special Edition Majora's Mask back there, right? Right? I've got, uh, oh man, where is it? Hold on, hold on. Be right back. I've got my press only Ocarina of Time 3D shirt that they sent me with my press copy back in the Zelda Informer days. I've got, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't forget, oh, What's this? This is a press-only copy of the actual Ocarina of Time. It's playable. This was sent to press with copies of Ocarina of Time 3D. Whew! Man! Oh, what's this? Um, I'm sorry. Skyward Sword HD is coming? Ah, oh, Skurvo, my boy. Like, Zelda? What? What? I've got my, my, I got my Twilight Princess Link statue up in here. I got my Skyward Sword. Well, my, it's like I almost love Zelda too much. Is that even possible? Not on the 35th anniversary, it's not. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubblejads from Nintendo Prime. And you know what? I'll catch you guys in the next video.